let's review what we've done so far with type ORM. We created three entities, the user entity profile entity and the phone entity. And we added a couple of mappings using the one-to-one -one decorator and the one-to-many decorator. So we added a one-to-one -one mapping between the user and the profile. And we added a one-to-many mapping between the user and a list of phones here. And from the profile, we added the mapping, the one-to-one -one mapping back to the user. And from the phone, we added a many-to-one mapping from the phone back to the user. And we also created an index file where we are creating a new user, a new profile. We attach the profile to the user and we also add a new phone to the user. Now I'm going to add a new entity that would be a community entity. And I'm going to create a many to many relation between a user and a community. So a user may belong to multiple communities such as GitHub, Stack Overflow, and a community may have multiple users. So now let's use the type ORM CLI to add a new community entity. So this is type ORM entity create minus n community. And this is going to generate a new class with the entity decorator. So I'm going to add an ID property. This will be the primary key of the community table. So this is a number. So I'm going to add the decorator here. This is primary generated column. This is going to use the auto increment value generated by MySQL. And I'm going to add a new column. That will be the name of the community. This will be a string. And I'm going to add the column decorator. Column like this. And now let's go to the user entity. And let's add the many-to-many -many mapping between the user and the community. So this will be communities. And this will be a, an array of communities. This community array, like this. And now I'm going to add a new decorator. This is the many-to-many -many decorator. And the target entity will be the community entity. And we are going to add new property to the community that will be the user to create a mapping from the community to the user so this user the type is the user class and we're going to a decorator it's the many to many decorator for the community entity and the target this mapping will be the user in particular this will be user dot communities back to the user so this is community community dot user and here we are going to also add the cascade property so that when I save the user it's going to also save the communities associated to the user so this is cascade true and here I'm going to add another regulator that will generate a table to map the many-to-many -many relationship. This table is going to have a foreign key to the user table and another foreign key to the community table. So this is join table. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to add a new method here to add a new community to the user, assign a new community to the user. So this will be add community. And I'm going to replace phone with community. This is community, this is the community class, this is communities, here and here, this is community, and the type of this array is an array of communities, so this is community, like this. Okay, now let's go to our index file, and now here I'm going to create a new community, const, let's say github, new community I'm going to assign a name to the community github.name equals to github and I'm going to add the user to this community so this is user dot add community and this will be github okay now let's see the database explorer 
Here we don't have any tables, so I'm going to run this index file and we're going to see how the tables and the data is stored in the tables. So this is npm run start. Okay, and let's take a look at the tables. Let's refresh this. And here we have the user table, the community table, and we have the phone table and the profile table. And here we have a new table that is going to connect the user with the community. So if we take a look at the user, we have the user one. This is the value for the primary key of that row. And if we take a look at the community table, we have one row that is the GitHub community. And within this table, we're going to have a foreign key to the user and another foreign key to the community table. And if we take a look at the table definition, here we have two columns, the user ID and the community ID. The community ID is a foreign key that is a reference to the primary key of the community table. And then we have the user ID column that is a foreign key that is a reference to the primary key of the user table. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Mm-hmm.